didn't even do a why Squeaker couldn't be here today. You know how long this video is already? You want to give me more work? <laughs> but fine. Well, let's just say S since, you, since you want to do it so badly, you can make the My Brother Couldn't Be Here Today joke. Squeaker couldn't be here today because he leaked something from Rise Unicron and was banished to Davis Basement. Perfect. Exactly. I never get the basement jokes never get old. If anything good came out of like cinema for the arc, what's that? It was that, that's true. <laughs> Hey guys, the Fiber this year. Today I'm joined by my Patreon member, DrakeNewHorn45. And David, the director of the Rise of Unicron fan film. And today we're gonna be ranking some Transformers Studio Series figures. And by some, I mean all of them. At least the Michael Bay movie ones and the night stuff too. Um, and you guys want to introduce yourselves real quickly? My name is Draken Yorm 45 aka Fatelift1987 on YouTube. Yeah, I know I have a few names, whatever. But, um, I do Transformer videos, and I also do some promotional and marketing for Rise of Unicron, at least on my own, like that new video that I pulled out. He also likes long romantic walks on the beach. There we go. Anyways, David, your turn. I'm David, of course. Um, um, of course. Well, probably most people know me from uh, the project Rise of Unicron, which I'm the director of. Yes, I'm the one that made up this crazy project. <laughs> I'm the madman. Um, not much to say there apart from that. He's so humble. <laughs> Drake took himself like a whole minute to introduce himself. David <laughs> took like less than that. So humble. Anyways, so we're gonna go through all the figures here in numerical order. Luckily, Draken over here, he's like my living encyclopedia for Studio Series numbers, because honestly, I don't know most of them. So that will be very helpful. We're all gonna have different opinions. Uh, of course, everyone who chooses an opinion that's different than me is automatically wrong, but we'll still hear them nonetheless. Of course, yeah. You'll accept our all right. opinion. Our first Studio Series character is Bumblebee, right? The, the Clanker yeah. one. All right, yep. immediate F tier. <laughs> Do I even need to explain myself? Like this figure was like had to be re-released because it was broken. And even then, the the um the clunker bumblebee version is kind of broken as well. Agreed. David, are you gonna defend this thing like a bolso, or are you gonna agree with the hate wave and put this in F tier like <laughs> it rightfully deserves? No, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a madman. I'm gonna give it a C. <gasps> a C. <laughs> <laughs> I feel disgusted even talking to you right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Well, someone has to do it. Okay, which one's number two? Stinger. So I have the KSI drone, and that's like the only closest thing I have to say Stinger. I, I think it's an okay figure. I'm gonna put it in D. I'm gonna, I'll put it in C. It's not that bad. It's, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, I mean, it could do a lot more better with the molding, but then again, this is the very first wave all the way five years ago. So there's that. Well, <laughs> more time for me to be controversial, right? Oh, oh god, no. what's he gonna do? No. Now I'm giving it the mm. F tier, bam. <laughs> oh, really? I don't like Singer, no. Okay. It's the same with the case, I don't actually like don't Is like it because he's too know. chunky? Like, he does look very chunky in comparison to like how he's supposed to be in the movie. I don't know what it is with that mold, but for me it just feels very cheap. I don't know what it is, but it feels very cheap. Yeah, it really does feel cheap, but I don't exactly think it's truly deserving of the F, just more of in between C and F. To me, it feels like I think it's the chest. I think it's the chest that most people have problems with. Yeah, that's yeah, what it is. It's mm -hmm. the chest and the arms. Like, the arms just feel just... A few inches later... What's number three? Crowbar. Crowbar, okay. I actually have this figure. Uh, I, you, you can't exactly get me to that many pulses, but the fact that like he goes along with your threats really well uh, makes me want to put him in C tier. I'll put him in C. I'm an extra stinger. I'm gonna put him in C as well. The only big problem with this figure is, of course, the dreadlocks. Not even that. Like to me, the biggest problem is that you can't do much with like pulsing him when it comes to the legs and stuff. Like he's pretty like one note, if you ask me. I'm so yeah. sorry, guys. I have to. <laughs> Oh my god, David. <laughs> one more, but then I'm done. I promise. It's an F. Oh my god, David! Like Jesus Christ! At least these I guys are functional, like Bumblebee. 
<laughs> I still don't like it, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Drake, and which one's number four? Ratchet. Okay, I, I have the, the old seven Ratchet, the pack one. Um, It's okay. I I'll put it in C just because... I don't know. It's it's okay. Like I, I don't love it, but I don't. Care. It's mainly the backpack that just makes me put it in C. Like it's it's a. Uh, it could have done a lot better with the backpack. To me, I sort of don't like how skinny he is. I know that's a kind of a weird complaint, especially the shoulders. They kind of I don't know. Like to me, the way they did it, it looks so cheap. And um, since this is not the 07, you know, uh, package uh, ratchet, like the one with, that comes with all the other five Autobots, it's less mm. colored. So I like it even less. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I personally like the, the mold in general, but. Of course you do, David. I would probably give it a B or something like that. Fine. I'll, at least I, I could accept that one. <laughs> How about you, Draken? <laughs> I'm going to put it in C. All right. What's next? Optimus, Revenge of the Fallen. F tier. Mm. Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'll, I'll put it in D tier. It, it's okay, but like, we had gotten so much better that I... Yeah. Yeah, it, it looks yeah, so gonna, inaccurate, I don't like it. I'm gonna put it in C tier. The only reason why is just that the little gimmick that I did inside my, my review where you can actually fan mode him to get impaled by Megatron, but still it's just... It's not really a good figure compared to SS32. Wait, 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 quick question. Does this one merge with Jetfire? No. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm tempted to give it an F now. I'm tempted to give it an F, no. but I'm gonna keep him in D. Yeah, I, I I personally don't like the figure too. I mean, just just the chest part is just looks weird. I don't know. Yeah, it's mainly the chest part, but hey, at least you can stab him through with Megatron. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and it's all, but it's also the coloring. It's just, it's just. It, it's very yeah. muted. Uh, it's very muted. It, it looks like he's dead. Like that's literally what this toy is made for—to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I might be a bit too generous, but I'll, I'll give it a C. <laughs> All right, what's next? Star screen. Okay, uh, oh. you guys know more about this one. I don't have the star screen, so you guys let me know. Okay, uh. well, David, if you look in the chat, there actually is, uh, you remember when you said that he can't do the scheming pose? You're wrong. He can. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's like they barely touch normally, right? They, you can't yeah. like fully connect them, but yeah, I mean, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah but like, the, the articulation is good, but then again, he is the chicken mm. leg Dorito guy we know. <laughs> of course, yeah. He's a lot better without the symbols. I'm gonna give him... I'm gonna give him an S. Like, he's really good looking, he's solid, and even though he's an upscale of the old Dark and Moon Deluxe class, he's really well done. I agree. I'll, I'll give him an A just because I have the original Dark of the Moon one, so I kind of already know what this guy's all about. I'll just put him in A. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think he, look wise, it's a really good figure. Uh, articulation wise, he's also f a good. So, yeah, I, I think it's a really nice figure and looks a lot better than the Revenge of the Fall version, so I, I give it an A. What's next? Grimlock. Okay, immediate SS tier. This, this is amazing. Yeah, like this this Grimlock is literally perfect. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Is it the only perfect? thing that, that I kind of wish it had is a better tail. Like, like Yeah, uh, that's what the upgrade kits are for, but we're not counting those. But that, that's his Fair only enough. weakness. That's his only weakness, in my opinion. Yep. All right, blackout. Okay, immediate SSD again. SS. Like, the only thing holding it back is the, the fingers, or lack of fingers. The only thing holding it back for me is just kind of tapping this one part in during transformation. Everything else, it's pretty much fine. How about you, David? The figure is perfect, in my opinion, aside from one thing, thing, and that does annoy me, and it is the articulation, I don't know, it's very limited, in my opinion. And the, the, the hands are just, uh, I, I, it just always kills me when I see them. Right, that's... Why well, give it an S? That's the only reason why it's not an SS for me. I actually do agree with you. This is like one of those figures that like you, you can't exactly get him into that many pulses, but like I feel like he's he has so much style over substance that kind of just like you know um yeah yeah I agree undoes yeah. all of that. So for me, it goes an SS. Yeah, yeah look what he's great. Yeah. What's next? Okay. Um, I I, I like the mold. I like that this kind of canonizes Thundercracker into the universe. I love that a lot. Um, I'm gonna give it a B. I, I actually really like the mold. I don't have the figure, but I like the mold. Fire! You can't believe it, but I agree. <laughs> you do? I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna agree as well. Oh, okay, yes. good, 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 good. Everyone, put it in B. Number ten is Jazz. 
Uh, I have the um, Oldoba 5 pack jazz, which is basically the same thing, just slightly better color. It's actually a pretty good figure. I didn't think it would be that good. Um, my, I agree. My only problem is that I wish he was smaller, but then again, it's, oh, there's not so much you can do about that. Wait, even smaller? God. <laughs> yeah, because like, Jess is like almost a midget with the, <laughs> in comparison to the other Olobots. Yeah, but I know. I like that figure a lot. I'm going to give it an A. Yeah, I agree. I think too, paint-wise, I mean, also, I also just have the anniversary version, but it's a very nice figure. You can do actually quite a lot of poses with him, and he just looks very good, so it's an A for me. It's an A for me as well, even though I don't have, have it. Uh, what's next is Lockdown. Okay, uh, uh vehicle mode is probably one of the best vehicle modes we got in first year series toy, and... Yes. It, we finally have a really good-looking Lockdown after, like, four years after... Uh, Age of Extinction Ages. release. <laughs> yeah, that one. I actually used to have that one before I got this one. I, I still have that one too, one. and now I have this one. Uh, to me, it's yeah. an A tier. I actually really like this lockdown. It would be an S tier were it not for the fact that it was lacking face gu gun face. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> yeah, you figured they'll do that because like it doesn't. It's not that hard of a gimmick to add to it. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they didn't add it. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I agree. Uh, I was always, I was always craving a good lockdown. I mean, still, I'm really saddened that they never gave us a bigger version of lockdown. I like mean, there were bigger versions, but it was like the little kids' toys that. Like the ones that changers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like a bigger, better version. <laughs> but yeah, but this version is really good for what it is. So an A. All right. What's next? What's next is uh, brawl. Okay, I don't have brawl, so you guys take over. I I don't have him too, but judging from what I've seen, I'll give it. A, I'll give him an A. I'm gonna give him an S. He's really well articulated. I do like how bulky and and how accurate he is. And I do like how some of his weapons actually are compatible with, say, Starscream, like specifically that minigun on his, on his claw weapon. I'm gonna give it an A, because to me, my biggest nitpick has always been like the little tank kind of goes in between his legs and he looks like he has a massive wiener. And that always distracted <laughs> me when I look at the Studio Series version. Yeah, that kind of, yeah, that's probably, yeah, that kind of, unfortunately, is what brings it down a little bit, but I'm still putting it in S for me. Okay, what's next? Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, the original color. Give me that SS instant. I'm gonna put it in S, not SS. I think the the 31 version is more better colored for that one to be SS, but we'll get to that later. I'm gonna put it in S just because I don't have this figure, but also I'll take your word for it. I'll assume it's good. Just just look-wise, it's such a great figure, such an accurate figure, and yeah, I know the middle is hollow inside, but I don't care. I don't look at this, the figure from the, from the side, so it's fine for me. Um, and just, just look wise and pro proportional as they just nailed the figure. So, uh, what's next? What's next? Ironhide. I actually, I'm holding Ironhide right now in my hands. Uh, the 07 anniversary pack. I love this figure a lot, I just wish the guns were larger. And, um, it's a surprisingly large figure for a Borger class, especially in vehicle. He's like, he's like gigantic right next to the other all of us. He's taller than Optimus in vehicle mode. Yeah, it's so weird. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm gonna put him in SS. Although what really threw me off was that I didn't really expect him to have small arms. Like, I wasn't expecting that was actually what he actually had in the actual movie. Like, small arms, but had the cannon makes him look like he had normal bulky arms. Like, I didn't expect that type of accuracy. Yeah, yeah I mean, agree. In fact, I like this figure so much that I just ordered an upgrade kit for, like, to get his Dark of the oh, weapons. Nice. Hey, there you go. Nice, nice. For me, it's A2. <laughs> oh, right. For me, it's SS. I put it in S tier. Okay, what's the next figure? The Rebecca's Garage Bumblebee. Isn't this literally just to use Series 1 Bumblebee, but then we'd upgraded parts to sort of transform him into another figure? Only in Yoko mode, and it, it really sucks, and I'm putting it in E tier. Mm. It's E tier for me. Like, that thing just sucks. Like, even the Charlie minifigure is inaccurate. Yeah, and I mean, you're paying extra mm. for something that's still kind of bad, so... Yeah, yeah. like, e, e tier. Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stay with S. <laughs> uh, S, uh, C, sorry, C. <laughs> C, C, C. <laughs> Damn it, David! Did you just say S? <laughs> no, I, I meant C, sorry. Okay, good, good. What's next is uh, Dark Moon Ratchet. Okay, so I don't have this 
figure and I don't know if there's that much of a difference between the old seven ratchet and this ratchet right here. The only difference is the paint and the fact that it has a gun instead of a saw. I kind of wish I had the, uh, I had the gun. Like I don't know. Like I like my ratchet to have a gun instead of the saw, but I mean the colors look nicer. I always thought that Dark of the Moon Ratchet just look a little better than O7 Ratchet. But it's still the same mold to me, so I'm just gonna put it right next to O7 Ratchet. You know, because it's it's a little done better and probably because it also has better tooling and whatnot, because they probably fix the QC issues on the old version, I'm gonna give it a B instead of a C. Actually you convinced me, I'm gonna switch my mind too. I'm gonna put it in B. Yeah, I almost had the same same kind of thinking. I, I had the original at V, and since I um, liked better paint job and did they fix the QC issues, it's an A for me. <laughs> good, good. What's next? What's next is... Um, <laughs> 17 Shadow Raider. Okay, so uh, completely inaccurate, but I just I want to get myself this figure. <laughs> Just so I can decapitate the head, take its gun, and give it to my log then. That's the only Not reason I want this yeah. figure. Me too. Me and, too. Um, considering yeah. that it's still... It's just log down, but inaccurate. I I, st I still think this figure is pretty solid, but I'm going to give it a C. I'm going to give it probably a B. I'll give it a C because just what kills me about the, the, the orange. You know what? Yeah, yeah C. like the orange does not work. <laughs> if that was, let's say, maybe... Even a very dark green, I think it will work a whole lot better. Or even red, I think red will also yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Alright, what's next? BW Bumblebee. Alright, so uh, maybe maybe this is just a me thing, but my copy, the, the gun arm <laughs> keeps falling off. And um, it's... Transforming him can be a pain. I don't hate this figure, but I wish I had nicer things to say about it. I'm gonna put this in... I'm gonna put this in D. Honestly, you're not the only one. I've actually seen a couple reviews with the exact same results, so I'm gonna put it in D as well. Well, here I go again. No! Is the Bumblebee fanboy hitting in? <laughs> no, just kidding. I, I, I give it an A. I like it a lot. Well, we're just gonna move on and ignore that comment. Anyways, what's next? <laughs> we have the uh, 80s uh, hit uh, Conker and VW Bumblebee. Uh, okay, 19. so um, these are just like the same figures for extra price, just with an uglier color scheme. Yeah. I'm gonna put them in F. Yeah. But I'm actually I'm gonna put them in E. Denied. Actually, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put 19 in E and 20 in F. I guess that's the clunker then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm putting. Yeah. What's next? Revenge of the Fallen Star Scream. Okay, uh, I over I I never liked the tattoos. I'll be honest, I never liked them. He looks uglier, but I mean he's still the same figure, right? So he's not that different, right? Exact same figure. The only thing is tattoos and the saw. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like the saw is less cool. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna put it. Yeah. See. Yeah, I normally always like the tattoo star scream in the movies. I love them, but I don't know what they did with this figure. It just doesn't really work for I me. I think it's like the cheap. cream they added to it. It should have just Maybe. made like the silver they he had in the first movie. I think I think it's a mix out of the just the tattoos being too much and not like the way they are in the movie and the, and that orange look. It, I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. Also, yeah, I, yeah, gonna... um, I don't know if this is just me, but when I look at the pro at the profile of the star screen, he looks like a chicken from afar. <laughs> like I can just barely make out the rooster. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it at, as a C. What about uh, you guys? Uh, I'll put it in B, just like below the OG one. Yeah, I'll give it the D. Okay, not being too generous. I'm gonna put it in C. What's next? Drop kick, helicopter. All right, all right. Controversial mm. opinion. I actually like this drop kick. It, the helicopter is perfect, I know it's super inaccurate, but just like Thundercracker, I see it as a what-if scenario, or as a, you know, this is how Drocket would look like had he only scanned the helicopter and not the car first. So, because of that, I actually really like this as a concept, and I like that the helicopter, I actually really love the helicopter. So, I'm gonna give this a C. I'm gonna give it a C. I, I, should, I wanna give it a B, but like, I'll be, I'll be honest, it's probably a C at best. Well, I don't have this figure, and I'm still debating on whether or not to actually, if I want to get it, because, like, for the uh, Bone Movie Decepticons, but I'll take your word, I'm gonna go with C. Yeah, I don't have I don't have the figure, um, and I, I don't like the, the look of it, I'll be honest, but, so I'll give it a D. 
Typical David goes against the status quo. I'm against the flow. <laughs> What's next? ASI Sentry. We're talking about going against the flow. <laughs> uh, I have this figure. I, I like the face, I like it a lot. And I think it's slightly better painted than Stinger. But I don't like how they left like the Stinger shurikens on the back. And worst part, they took the shurikens away. So now it looks like he has things missing on the back, which brings the figure down quite a bit. I'm gonna put it in C. I think it's just on par with Stinger. In the same ranking would I put Stinger in D. Okay, folks, prepare for the next F. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. I told you I don't like them all. What's next? The two pack um VW and the Camaro from the last night. Oh. Okay, well I don't I don't have the Camaro from the last night, but I do have the BW, so I'll just put it right next to uh, my already VW promo B. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same for my VW. But as for the Camaro, I've heard some good and iffy things about it. I mean, it's not bad. I don't hear people praising the figure, but I don't also hear people uh, saying negative things about it either. I'd say it's like a B in all honesty. Does it come with a Warhammer? No, that's actually the next figure, which is the World War II Bumblebee. Ew! We don't talk about that one yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I give W Bumblebee the same as the other one, an A, and the, the last night one, I'll give a B for Bumblebee. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll give the last night a B then. I don't have this figure, so I'll just take your word for it. Yeah, it's a B. What's next? Um, uh, World War II Bumblebee. Ugh, E tier, <laughs> disgusting! <laughs> Look at its ugly green, and like the way he looks is gross. Even the weapon cannot save it. And it's super inaccurate too. Oh, okay, David, please tell me you're not gonna defend this abomination. Uh, well, I'm not, well, I'm not gonna defend it. I mean, I just personally don't like it. I just don't want to buy it. It's a figure I just wouldn't buy. So, so that's enough for me. Good, 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 good. Anyways, um, what's next? We have Plunker Bumblebee. The one that looks at you like he just came out of the car shop. Okay. Uncle, B Uncle Bobby B. Isn't this like just like the same figure, just like with the yes, it is. Fixed? It is, but dirtier and actually had this figure. They didn't fix any the QC issues. Oh, okay, so F tier. Mm. I'm not just putting any. I'll, I'll give it a D because they didn't fix it. Not just. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with all the Bumblebees being so low tier so far? <laughs> <laughs> Not on my list. <laughs> oh god, I'm afraid to see David's list now. Anyways, what's oh next? My. Barricade. I, I don't have this figure, so you guys let me know. Okay. Okay, so I used to have it. Uh, he, he He's what I call Tabby Nightmare, which is uh, when I'm transforming him. It's kind of a little fiddly and whatnot. He scales well, he poses well, but even though he has that spinning mace weapon thingy, he doesn't come with frenzy. That's a shame, yeah, I agree. He should have come with Frenzy. That would have been very nice. True, yeah. If you don't come with Frenzy, you're gonna go and see. I'll put it in C, I guess. It's a shame they didn't include Frenzy, and I honestly don't. not the biggest fan of the overall look of him, so it's a C for me. What's next? Dark of the Moon Sideswipe. I have this figure. I actually like it quite a I, I like it a lot. I think it's one of the most accurate Sideswipes we've ever gotten. Um, I'm gonna put it in. I'll put it in. I put in A actually, yeah. I like it a lot. I have no complaints with it. I have no complaints with it. I'm gonna take your word on a go with A. Yep, same. I, everything you said, I agree, so A. I, I still have my old Dark of the Moon side swipe, and whenever I look at that figure, I kind of just want to throw it out the window because, like, it's so. It's like. It's like night and day when I look at my classic Dark of the Moon side swipe with my Studio Series side swipe. I mean, instead of throwing it away, you should sell it. Hmm. I don't know. How much can I gain from that? For a few dollars. <laughs> oh, in that case, I'm gonna let the value increase for a few more years. Anyways, what's the next figure? The worst dread crank case. E. 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 Well, how, how did they mess this up so much? All they had to do was get the berserker mode and recolor it. That's exactly what I want to get the berserker mode just for crank case. Uh, yeah. I have the berserker mode. It's, it's actually it's so good. It's really good. What's next? Yeah, it's an, it's an eight. Hey, 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 don't oh. leave me out. Oh, man. sorry, David, you need to, you need to stay your, your tier fast, man. Well, it's me. <laughs> okay, good. What's the next one? Next one is Battle Damage Megatron. It's an S. S, S. I'm putting it one tier above only for the paint. Well, I I'll just leave it in S then. Yeah. yeah it's a great figure. I Number 32. 
Optimus Prime from 2007. I, I have the the, the the anniversary pack Optimus. I love that figure. Um, this one only comes with the guns, right? Yeah, that one comes with the guns. What you got is with the yeah, blades. Yeah, with the swords. Because... Yeah. Uh, he looks cool. Uh, yeah, he's actually probably a bit. Yeah, I think I put him in S tier. Actually, I like him quite a bit. His transformation can be a bit complicated, but I think for the most part, he's a very solid figure in front of transform. He combines with Jetfire. And uh, extra points for that too. For that, I'm putting in SS. Exactly, and just the chest and everything. It looks just so much better. It's what the Revenge of the Fallen figure tried to be. Like, uh, like the Revenge of the Fallen figure is like the ugly stepchild that no one cares about. Well, this one's like the yeah. the legitimate child that we all wanted. It's like. It's like the prototype, like Hasbro made it, they were in the midst of making it, they're like, does this look, oh, fuck it, just release it. <laughs> <laughs> Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher. Uh, he looks Bone cool, Crusher. but like, I never I never got, well, I found a Bone Crusher, but he was like going up for like $160 in one store for some reason. Scalpers. Oh, yeah, so I, I didn't get him. My boy Bone Crusher. He looks I mean, really I, uh, well, and you can actually rip off his face. You can? I mean, I, yeah. yeah. Jesus, Bon yeah. bonus point for that. A tier. <laughs> S tier. I, I only have the Nest version, so but but still it's kinda it's it's basically the same. Can you take off it. like the Nest version's head? Yes, you actually can. It's the same as that mold, it's just painted differently. Have you tried taking it off yet, David? No, I actually haven't. <laughs> you should do it right now. <laughs> I'm kinda of scared. But that's it, yeah. Where is it? Do you have it on you right now? Or like uh, no, I don't have I don't have it on me yet. I, I still need to compare everything to the new flip. Well, then I guess you can check out my review for that if you want to see that in action. Shameless plug. Shameless man. plug, <laughs> like a true YouTuber. <laughs> yes. What's next? 34 Dark of the Moon Megatron. I, I, I have the Transformers the Rise version. I, I want this just for the cape. Because, like, I want to give it to my Kingdom Rodimus so I can recreate the last bot standing Rodimus version. And, oh, um, yes. I, I, I want this so bad. I even tried looking on eBay for just the cape. See if people are selling that. I just want that. Um, overall, as the mode itself, very solid. I, I love it a lot. It's gonna go on SD for me. Yeah, I remember when I got him actually. I just randomly walked in a store with a friend and just, you know, I was looking around the Transformers aisle and like moving. I'm like, what? Is there something behind this leader? And then I just spotted out of nowhere. And I, I had a, like like a freak out, and my, my friend who's not a Transformers stand, fan is like standing next to me. He's like, "What the hell are you on about? Just a figure." Isn't that the same exact day you also got the SS44? Whoa! Help me. 44 is what again? Yeah, we we don't remember the <laughs> numbers because we're not nerds. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, no, that's not the same day. I got those on two different days. <laughs> ah. But that was my second biggest find. So, but yeah, uh, SS. Uh, Dark of the Moon Megatron for me is love and it's life. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in S. It, it The only thing that drags it down from the SS tier is the hollowness in the vehicle mode. But then again, it's supposed to be representing the long vehicle and how can you really do that if you kind of big leader budget and you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like comparing it to Scourge in the form of like. They gotta get both as accurate as possible, even though Scourge is based off of concept, but we'll get to that later. Alright, what's next? 35 Jetfire. Okay, I don't have this Jetfire, but like from from what I see, he's actually pretty huge. He is. He's almost he's as tall as the fallen. So I'll give him this. I really I'm putting like... it in SS. I'd put him in S just because I don't have him. And the fact that he can combine with Optimus is extra points. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. What about you, Dave? What's your score? Uh, an S. I would give it an S. The only thing, I don't know what it is with the face, but the silver paint, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't fully work for me. I don't know what it is. That's the only reason why it's not SS for me. I, I, can, I can see what you mean. I can see what you mean. What's Baby Donna bought in The Last Night Drift. Yeah, I don't have that, so that's all you guys. Uh, that's just Dave. Mm, yeah, I have him, and I'm debating right now between two, between S and A, and I'm not sure. I'm giving it an S out of here. I'll, I'll give it an A then. <laughs> I know it's just the last night mold, but just it shows how much a paint job can make a figure better. Because just the paint job is so much better, and the last night version is just hideous. The last night version is just pure oh. red, right? Yeah, it's just terrible. And, and it's nice to include the baby Dinobots, it's, and he has a lot of gear, a lot of different swords, it's a lot of accessories with this figure. Hmm. I'm gonna put in A. Alright, so what's next? We That's have Rampage. The, that's the red one, right? <laughs> 
Yes. Uh, okay, so I have the I have the the regular yellow one. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but I just I simply love like making him do a T pulse and holding him like the cross. I think that's hilarious. Um, yeah. There's not much you can do in terms of pulsing, but he is part of Devastator, so I think at the bare minimum I have to give him a B. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a B as well. I mean, I, I also only have uh, uh, Skipjack, which is the yellow one, and but. I mean, it's basically the same figure. I really like it. I was also surprised by that. Uh, just recently found him actually in Latvia, very far when I was on holiday in a shop. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nice to go to different. I always do it when I go to different countries and I have the chance because their stock is always different to like uh, Austria. And it's very interesting to see because the, the like the northern European countries for some reason are still they still sell the Constructicons. It's very interesting. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I like it, so it's an A for me. <laughs> What's next after that one? Own movie Optimus 38. Oh, oh okay. Why, that, why, yes. Okay, everyone, why should this figure be SS tier? We don't need to talk about that. It just is. <laughs> this figure is perfect. Just, yes, just, okay. it is. Man, I have it here on my on my couch, and I just played around with it today. I get looked at it. It's just it's just such a perfect figure, man. It's. Oh, like, I wonder how they're gonna translate this into uh, Rise of the Beast version. They're probably gonna like just do a slight remold of it. Like I don't think they need to change much. I mean, haven't you? Yeah, and not to mention that I've been keeping hearing rumors that apparently this guy, if um they are doing Rise of the Beast Studio Series Optimus, it's gonna be buzzworthy. If they do do it, I'm totally gonna get it just because I know he's not gonna be as skinny as in the movie. He's probably gonna still keep the same body type just with the extra parts, which uh, I will totally get it just with this mold. The mold's perfect. Yeah, I, mean, I, I probably will get him too. But the thing is, right now, like my Rise of the Beast figures, I, I just put uh, Bumblebee Optimus there because it's basically the same. So SS, are we all in agreement? Yes, yes. SS. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. okay. What's next? Cogman. Cogman. Okay. Uh, I don't have this figure. I just know you can like take his head and do headmastery stuff with it. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't have the figure either. I. I I don't hear a lot of bad or good things about it. It's it's it's, it's, it's another meh figure, kind of like the B tier, if you know so, what I mean. To me, he kind of feels like a forgotten figure. Like everyone always mm. forgets about him, and when someone mentions Studio Series Cockman, everyone is always like, "Oh yeah, he exists." <laughs> yeah, not to mention he does come with Excalibur. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the very most... useful weapon that got tossed to the side halfway throughout the movie. Exactly, the most important MacGuffin of all of Transformers. Alright, as soon as you stop the blocking blow of, of killing Optimus, just like, yeet! I still stand by my um, statement. That sword should have merged with Optimus Prime sword to form the Star Series. Have given yeah. it more significance. Yes. I, mean, I, just, I told you guys, like that whole moment on the ship. I mean, this is more of a rant against the last night, but still, um, that whole moment on the ship with Optimus and Mark Wahlberg. I, I just, I remember in the cinema when he blocked that hit from that Transformers. It looked so ridiculous. I had to burst out laughing. <laughs> Because it just looks so stupid, like he blocks a big ass Transformers hit, I'm like, you cannot know! Alright, <laughs> we're supposed to be talking about like the, 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 yeah, the, the figures, not the movies! Uh, but, but, yeah, but, but we're going full circle, even though I hate it, I don't like that moment, and I find it ridiculous, I still want to get the sword because I'm a stupid fanboy. So <laughs> I want to get Hogman, but it's an A for me. I'm, I'm gonna do B. I'll put in B just because I really like the vehicle mode. That, I really like that. Mm, yeah. Thank you. What's next? Shatter car mode. Okay. Okay. I really, really like the shatter. I know it's not the best figure <laughs> out there. And some people say that the head's inaccurate, but the head is actually accurate because Shatter actually does have a battle mask in the movie. Check the Sabatron scenes and check when she's transforming. She like pops it off for like at least three seconds. <laughs> I know that I know this is stuff. I know this is stuff. I actually, uh, you know what? I actually took this fact to heart and uh, while I was actually watching the Bumble movie la this weekend actually. Like this weekend I was me and my friend and we were just watching a movie and I was like, Okay, I want you to pause at this very moment, and I want you to see there's a battle mass, and I was like, fire was right. Yeah! Later <laughs> okay, 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 clips play it right now. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So, I'm gonna put this in B. I, I, I'm gonna put it over Dropkick just because it's more accurate to the movie. 
You know what? I'm gonna put it with the same with, with my draw kick C. Perfect. David, what about you? It better be um, a good placement. I'll, yeah, I'll give it a C. <laughs> Acceptable. What's next? <laughs> we have Scrap Metal. The little one. Oh, uh, this guy looks cool. I don't have him. I would like to have him though. I actually. I, I do have him because I got the box set. Um, actually, Drake me, I need to be a nerd for a second, because I, I just, as you know, I just am halfway through watching Revenge of the Fallen again, so I was at that scene. <laughs> and no, it isn't him. <laughs> I checked, I, I looked at it, it's, it's actually, um, ah, oh, god damn it, what's the, I can't, what's the name of him? It's, it's a... With that swingy thing. Oh, uh, oh, I think, I think I know who you mean, it's that one yellow guy with, like, the wrecking yes, ball thing. what's the name? God damn it. Um, Scrap? No, no, he's like scrap. No, scrap metal. No. What's the name? We'll do, we'll do talk about it later. But uh, yeah, I, I know, I know what you mean. Like I actually saw, I saw Theramis's video on it. Uh, check it out in the link in the description. Fire will link it for you guys. Great, more work. <laughs> You'll probably forget it during editing. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's always that easy in these long ass videos. <laughs> okay, so. I think this is cool. Like, I actually really, really love the robot mode. I don't remember much about the vehicle mode, but I assume it's okay. Yeah, it, it really is okay. Like, it's it's not a bad figure. I'm going to put it in B alongside uh, Rampage. Same. I guess B is the appropriate placement for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest, like, fan of, like, the boxy look that meant, but that's more of a design picky thing. But, I mean, I'll give it a, I'll give it a C. <laughs> What's this? David agree with the popular opinion? Wow. Wow. It happens from time to time. <laughs> What's next? Long, long haul. Ooh, I get SSD for me. This, I, I want to get the Devastator pack just for this figure. If someone has a spare $200 they want to donate to my Patreon right now so I can get that pack, link in the description that right now. Go donate. Yeah, long haul is You need to donate to, to the stream. Now! Exactly. Like, this is the figure I want the most right now. Like, well, besides Optimus, uh, from the Bowie movie, this is the other figure I really want. And, and of course, I got him with Megatron. Well, uh, guys, if you're, if you're feeling generous, you could maybe also give me some dollars for long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Link to uh, David's Patreon is going to be in the description. Does he even have a Patreon? question. Of course no, not, I that's the joke! <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke, yes. <laughs> all right, what's next? Oh, all right, I'm putting in SS. What about you, David? Oh, right, okay. Yes. Okay, what's next after that one? Hey, Psy Boss. This is literally the Nitro Seuss mold. Just the Nitro Seuss. Head. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put it in B. Actually, fun fact. Um, I was re-watching some old last night clips for... I don't know what video I was making. I was making a video on some old last night footage. And on that one... I saw like the scene where you know Isabelle is like walking up to Megatron and there's the Decepticons, and when I like paused it and looked at Nitro Seuss, he looked exactly like this guy, like with the yellow eye and everything. I was like, oh, that's right, Nitro Seuss's model used to look different. I can only picture like uh, early last night Nitro Seuss whenever I look at this figure. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put it in B alongside uh, the same Nitro Seuss mold as um, Thundercracker. Yeah, how about you, David? Oh, get ready, guys. Oh, God. I know it's it's accurate to the old one. I just, I it's it's the Shockwave cannon and everything. I just, I, I don't like the figure. I'm sorry. It's, it's an F. Oh! Where's the band? Where's the band button? Is there a band button in here? <laughs> it's called? No. Oh. You'll need to deal with me. What did you score? Like, you said it was lower, but like, what did you score? He put it in F tier. Oh no! That's foul, David. Even oh, for you. <laughs> no. What's Jet next? Jetpack Optimus Prime with the trailer. Ooh, okay, my friend recently got this toy. He he actually really really liked it, and I wanted to. Uh, I'm not that interested in like the whole jetpack function. I kind of just wanted for the weapons. My biggest problem with it is that when he, you know, gets the jetpack and he has like the quote unquote guns on his hand, it literally looks like he's holding a pistol instead of like the guns being part of like his his hands yeah, like it like, should be. Like that's the only thing. Like mainly it's the weapons and how they did the weapons that's kind of holding the figure back. Mm. Yeah, they could have put a bit more effort into the jetpack and the, the, the weapons. I agree. I'm gonna put in S. It's not SS because of that. Mm, yeah, I'll give it an S. I guess I'll put it in S too. What's next? 
We have Age of Extinction Helicopter Drift. Okay, just for the mere fact they actually managed to nail that, uh, I'm gonna put this in A. Like, I was. I, I never expected we would get a helicopter drift and an actually good looking one at that. Yeah, I like. I really do agree. Now they just need to make an Age of Extinction drift in car mode. But I'll give it an A too. I'm gonna put it A. Car mode, drop kick. Okay, car mode is divine. This looks so accurate to the movie. He he poses so well. I I love this figure so much. It's A for me. A tier. A tier for me. Yeah, I would say the same. Oh, oh, well, thank goodness, David didn't have a contradictory bad opinion. <laughs> well, actually, Rocky is a. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? I tower. I hate this thing, F tier. Mm -hmm. What? He looks so ugly! He's like this little <laughs> dinosaur with a giant claw, and it's so hey, boring. And... Are cool. It looks so. It's an abomination. This is the first thing people think <laughs> about when they think Bay Monstrosity, okay? The only scene ingress that they can combine into Devastator, and for that, I might put it in D tier at best. You know what, I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's not bad figure, but it's it's, it's just a meh figure for me. Like, Okay, tell me, in how many poses can you get this guy? Exactly, exactly. So, uh, that proves my point. You know what, yeah, D tier. You know what, yeah. I'm, now I think about it, yeah, D tier. Cause like, I actually was fitting on this guy last night, and I was looking at the arms like, that's seriously how far they move? And then I look at the legs, and it's like, the legs, you kind of, they don't lock in like when you're posing it. It's just like, it kind of, I can see why you now there's a D tier for this. It's an abomination, that's why it is. At least it's not too much of an abomination to be cut from Devastator. And guys, don't let Fire and Drake any fool you guys. High no, Tower is no. nice. I'll give it a B. Oh my god, David! I, now I want to oh, kick man. you for the call! <laughs> <laughs> the ride went on! Okay, uh, SS. I have this figure, I love it. Uh, Actually, no, I'm gonna put it in S, just like, it's the same as the Dark of the Moon one, just without the cape, and that's like the biggest thing holding it back. Yeah, yeah wow. and um, not only to mention that uh, he does come with the backdrop of the ride. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty cool, and it's based off the coolest character in Transformers The Ride, so... My other problem, why it's for me also an S and an SS, is just, first of all, I know it doesn't, no one, no one cares, but, well, I care. The right version of Megatron is a mix between Revenge of the Fall and Dark of the Moon, which I really like, but this figure is just Dark of the Moon with grey. <laughs> yeah. I, I get yeah. it, they went, they were lazy. <laughs> I get it. But it just, I see it, and I'm like, it's not the right Megatron. <laughs> so it's an S for me, but still. So it's a still Dark of the Moon. Your Megatron. opinion is noted and ignore David, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have World War II Hot Rod. Okay, I don't hate this as much as World War II Bumblebee, and I think it's actually kind of decent, but I still don't like it. I'm gonna put it in D tier. I'll give it an, an F, but not because of the figure, let me say that, but just because I, I myself wouldn't buy it, that's why it's an F. You know what, I'm I'm, I'm gonna put it in F. It's the shell former, it's it's almost essentially the same as that more Bumblebee, except it's better painted. It lacks a lot of character, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyways, what's next? Dark of the Moon Soundwave. Okay, so, I mean, it looks okay. I don't have the figure, but I don't oh, like- scrap. Hold up, hold up. We missed 49, uh, Bumblebee. Oh. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen? No, uh, 2007 Camaro. Right next to Soundwave. Oh, Bumblebee. oh, that one, that one. They, they all look the same. No offense. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, sorry, I missed that one, my bad. Okay, um, I have the anniversary okay. one, and the anniversary one like, has its car window broken, so I need to get a replacement for that one. Uh, besides that, I guess it's okay. Um, I'm not sure how the regular version is compared to the anniversary version. It's like it's better painted than the anniversary version. I'll say that right now. Mm, I need to get. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my anniversary version. You guys uh, just discuss this figure and let me know what you guys decide. Um, okay. Okay. Well, I you know like it's a transformation. Like it's just it's it's too complex in all honesty. Like it's like I get that it's supposed to turn into an Acre Camaro, but like it's a bit too complex. Like like seriously. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw I saw Martini struggling in stream trying to transform it. But yeah, I know. I like he had, like at one point he said like he he actually threw it off to the side and went off of the others. And then at the end of stream when he wanted to transform them all, he's like, "Fine, I have to do this." <laughs> exactly, but yeah, the figure itself, if I do not count in the transformation, I like so it's. I will give it an A. I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna give it a C as well. 
Now it's time for Soundwave. Okay, so they whitewashed Laser Beak. How are you feeling about the uh, Soundwave itself? It's. It, yeah, I would say it's an A. It's not exactly the best. It could be a bit better, but hey, it does clean up in the back a lot. It, it does look accurate and. Does it like, come with the guns? No, sadly. That's pro that's what brings it down from the S. It's oh, like, that's boring. I'm, I'm putting an A. Like, it, it's not. It's not. It's really not a bad figure. Yeah, I really like it too. The RC triplets. Okay. Okay, you guys know my opinion. I, I like these designs. I don't like them on these characters, but the fact that they managed to actually make some really good RC sisters um, and, you know, make them up to scale is very impressive. I'm gonna give the, put them in A tier. Well, Fire, you remember from like, oh the first God. record you tried to do, you remember I did, do not like the RC designs. It's not something the figures can do. The figures itself are a very good representation of the design. I just don't like the design. However, that having been said, as I watched a Revenge of the Fallen today again. I looked at them when they appeared and I thought about what you said. And I was like, actually, they're not that bad. <laughs> exactly! My opinion is so correct give, and you know it. So I'll give it Fire a was point. right! Play the clip! A D? Yeah, it's, it's better than F, man. David is so cringe, man. I can't believe it. Oh, come on. At least... Hey, at you, least you, he still said Fire was right. right. Well, Drake, where would you put the Arcee sisters? I would put them in B because I don't think they're they're bad. I don't think they're they're they would be above mid, but below you know like like they're they're good. They're also the very first core class ever because like they came out in 2019. Oh core yeah, class in, like 2021 or something. But like yeah, but they got like shipped with the Lux class uh, pricing. Right? Yeah, they're they're technically the first ever core class because like compare them to like Rise of the Beast RC, which we'll get to later. They're kind of the same size in mm. in terms of that. Like they're kind of they're they're around the same scale. All right. I'm gonna put it in B. What's next? Mix Master. Okay, I have this one. I actually like it quite a quite a bit. Uh, the the pulsing it's a bit tricky. I don't think there's much you can do with it exactly. But I I'm a sucker for like the whole shield thing he has going yeah on. it's kind of it kind of a little sucks that you can't they, they're not on ball joints yeah then again that's probably exactly what the old toy did and that's probably why it felt so badly my biggest complaint is that he doesn't have like the the gun mode exactly like please guys please like add the little blaster it will be good but no you have to get that an upgrade kit david what's your controversial slash wrong opinion no it's it's not that controversial. I mean, I, I, I don't have to figure, but it's a good figure. I like it, so it's a B for me. Good, good, good. I'm gonna put it in A. I'll put it in A as well. 2007 Megatron. Okay, I remember when this thing first came out, and in the video, when I looked at this, I, 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 I couldn't explain it, but I didn't like it. There was something about it that was so off, and then people in the comments told me, Fire, I think it's the chest, it's completely inaccurate to how he actually looked like in 2007. And, um, besides that, I think it's also the face, like, Dark of the Moon, I mean, 07 Megatron's face has always been kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, it's been weird since the concept art, and I used that face and most of the toys and stuff, so it really wasn't really accurate a whole lot back then. Yeah, and that messed with my mind as a kid, I, like, I couldn't tell what was supposed to be Megatron. Yeah. I really do like the vehicle mode, I do like it does come with a mace, although it's just, like, plastic and not, like, rubber. You know, like, it would've been better, like, if you could actually, like, swing it, but no, it's just, like, plastic. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's also, like, the chest is one thing, and it's nothing that's the figure's fault, but it just, every time I see it, it really rubs me the wrong way, is that on the box art, he has the Revenge of the Fallen head. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in A. Fine, I'll yeah. put it in A. I'll, I'll leave it in A. I'll give it a B. Okay, they, okay, that guess I'll give it a B as well. Alright, what's next? We have Scavenger. I have this figure. I like it. I just wish he could do like the rotating wheel thing that he does in a Yes! Yes! And besides that, I actually really like this and um... Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. I'm gonna go to the chat right now. You can actually get this guy into quite a few good poses. And uh, he was actually the inspiration for this drawing I made. For a video which I haven't released yet, but you can totally check out in the Patreon, it's there somewhere. <laughs> Called Demolisher oh. Did Nothing Wrong. <laughs> and uh, I actually really like this figure, the, the, the vehicle mode's really good. I'm gonna put it in A tier. I'm gonna put it in A as well. It's really good. Also, if you scale it to something like, say, Core Class Optimus, or like the Commander Class Optimus from the Dark of the Moon toy line, it, it really does scale well. As if it was like Commander Class, like, 
yeah, it would have probably been a lot better, but it will also break budget on Devastator. Like, nope, they're not doing that. Uh, I will actually give it the S tier. I really like the figure. It looks really accurate and really nice. Right. I really do like the face sculpt as well. Yeah, it's really good. Like, well painted too. Surprisingly well painted. Now we have Shockwave with brains, wheelie, and a parachute trooper. SS yeah. tier, don't even talk uh, about it. Don't discuss it, don't argue it. Just give it SS. I'm gonna give it an SS because I'm a lore guy yeah, and yeah. I absolutely love that this canonizes the tank mode for Shockwave, finally. I'm gonna put in SS as well. So if we ever do get, like, um... Someone commenting about, oh, Shockwave didn't have, never have a vehicle mode, now we can officially prove him wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I, I know the, the purple is kind of inaccurate, but I don't care. I think it looks cool. Like, if it's a change Ooh. that makes the character look cooler, I don't mind. I agree. Yep. What's next? And now we have number 57, which is Off-Road Bumblebee. I love this figure, SS. I got it comp on a wimp. I found it um in some store, and I, I got it thinking it wasn't going to be much, and it's one of the best Bumblebees. I think it's my favorite Bumblebee figure I have so far. Um, I love it a lot. It pulses really well, it reminds me a lot of animated Bumblebee, like, you know, that the sign of a Bumblebee does for a lot of people. Really good figure, honestly, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Really good Bumblebee, and I, I'm thinking, I, I think I will buy him one day, so it's an a for me. If you can find him, because he's kind of rare at the moment. Yeah, he's he's rare. Oh, um, except if you get the NES version. Yeah. yeah, but the NES version isn't really that good. Um, I'm gonna go with SS, honestly. Like, I really think it's a good figure, and the transformation is really well done. And also, you can hold him with Blitzwing. Yeah, <laughs> but when we get choked by so many other Studio Series figures, it's insane. <laughs> now we have Robuster. Okay, I don't have any of the records, so I'm actually I'm actually pretty uh unopinionated on all of them. Well, except for Leadfoot, but we'll get to him eventually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, same. I, I don't have him. What I've, as far as what I've seen, he is a good figure, but it's... I mean, he's accurate, he's... I don't know what to say about this. I don't have the yeah, like, figure. I, I, I think like that's our biggest problem. I feel like Ro the Wreckers are one of those figures that, much like Cockman, you don't realize they're in Studio Series yet. And when you actually see them, you're like, oh yeah, they are in Studio Series. They're kind yeah. of forgettable, and I don't know why. Yeah, it's interesting, yeah. It's, it's like, like here's the thing. People care more about the twins being inside Studio Series than these guys. Well, but but that's because the, the twins are such a meme at the moment. With like Hasbro not wanting to do anything with them, when back in the day, they were like full-blown promoting them into marketing and stuff <laughs> like at least the, the twins have like that you know Waluigi factor while Roadbuster and the rest of the records are just there yeah I'll put them in B well I'm I'll put, put Roadbuster in B I mean yeah I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him in B what's next Jet Mode Shatter I actually really like this figure maybe it has a bit of problems with articulation especially with the the jet wings on the back, but for the most part, I actually really like this figure. And the vehicle mode is really, really great. Um, no complaints there. I'm gonna give it an S, just because it's a super accurate shatter to the movie one. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an S as well. I mean, I, I mean, the chest definitely looks like it can triple change, even though it really can't, but still. To the magic yeah. of anything, I'm sure it can. I mean, I, I really like it too, her too. He, she looks really accurate to the movie, and yeah, I like her a lot more than the other version, so it's an, an A for me. What's next? Sentinel. Okay, so, um, I don't have it. I, the vehicle mode looks cool, though, and, uh, the Royal mode looks a bit stiff to me. I don't know if you guys get that bike. Yeah, but... and the hips are loose. Not only that, but the weapons suck. Like, there's no shield. There's no rust cannon. He's got a flimsy sword made out of parts of his vehicle mode. So, so he only has the blades? Yeah, he only has the blades. Oh, that's, that's so lame. Yeah. I'm gonna put him in B because like I feel like that holds him back quite a bit. It's not it's not a bad looking figure, but it could easily be on A or B tier for me. Yeah, it's it's gonna be B for me. For me, it's actually an A tier. I think it look, it's a very good looking figure. You know, we gone quite a long time without Davy having a controversial opinion. This yeah, is a miracle. It will happen. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we have Scrapper. That oh, that's nice. his name. Yeah. That's the name. Yeah. Okay. That's the name. Uh, I have this figure. He's cool. I like. Him. I agree, I fully agree. How did you guys forget Scrapper? Why? Because he's a <laughs> random also, nobody who achieved nothing in the movie. <laughs> I mean, he did try killing uh, Sam Michaela. Emphasis on the <laughs> word try. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tried. I mean, that, that Wrecking Ball thing, though. 
Uh, I'm going to bring in B. I like him quite a bit. He is a bit stiff, but he's a really nice looking figure. Like, he's really good to look at. Yeah, I'm going to put him in A. I agree. I'll give him an A. He's a very good looking figure, and I was actually really surprised when I got him. All right, what's next? Soundwave, Revenge of the Fallen. Okay, okay, okay. Funny story. I don't know if I already told this. My brother got me this for Christmas. I, I specifically told him, hey, get me a Studio Series Demolisher for Christmas, and he got me Soundwave instead. <laughs> And, um, yeah, uh, I don't, this is one of those cases where accuracy kind of hurts the figure, because, like, it looks so boring. Like, if it came with an extra satellite, like, I feel like it would, it would be cooler, but the and fact that, that it's just, cool. like, the boring, you know. Really boring, great. The original is better than this. Heck, even the original Legends class is better than this. You know, this could be a proto form and nothing will change. It will probably be better for it, too. Yeah. Yeah, so like you put the portafoam on it, bam, done. I'm gonna put it in C. I mean, the stand is good, but like everything else. I'll put it in C as well. David, what's your controversial opinion? No, it's not like controversial. I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. I think the original figure, as you said, looks better, which I have. Um, I give it a D. I'm hoping we get that version of Soundwave for the gamer edition. <laughs> and the gamer edition. <laughs> gamer yes. edition. All right, uh, top spin. Okay, much like Roadbuster, I don't know anything about him, so I'm just gonna put him in B tier. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah. I feel Be like funny. the fact that people don't talk about their records just, like, says a lot about their toys. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a sad thing. Cliff Jumper. Hey, hey why you skip David? David hasn't said he's a big yet. I did, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> I will never forgive you. No, it's just an A. No. Wait, you're putting it in A? Yeah. Oh. I like him, he looks good. Okay, I mean, that's the wrong thing to think, but alright. <laughs> okay, what's next? Cliff Jumper, right? Yeah. I heard this figure came with a lot of QC issues that they later fixed on B127. Yeah. That's the only reason why I didn't get him, which now I kind of regret, because I, I can't complete my Cybertron. Yeah, but then again, he does die anyway, so... Eh, uh, I guess. I'm gonna put him in... D. I agree, what? it's D, yeah. I'm gonna put him in D as well. Yeah, like, it's it's mainly the QC issues and they just hold it back. Alright, what's next? Blitzwing! Oh, okay, this is S tier right away. One of the best looking Bumblebee movie figures and figures overall for Studio Series. Yeah, yep. S tier for me. That and the fact that he can choke Bumblebee gives him extra points. Yes, yes. Although the only thing that kind of holds him back from SS is the backpack. Yeah, but like, I mean, because of like the way he is, like with the jet thing, I don't think that's much of an issue. You know what? F it, SS. <laughs> well, okay, it at least that's really a good good. opinion, David. I appreciate that. It looks really good. Overload. I want that figure so badly. Like, I think the only... Yeah. Ooh, lucky. I want, I really want this figure. Oh, the only nitpick, at least from what I've seen, is that the vehicle mode, like when you transform him, the Devastator Parker kind of has nowhere else to go. And you just like awkwardly on top of the vehicle. Yeah, but like, you can easily take it off and like you don't even need to even store it. Like, you, like sometimes you don't even need to store it. Honestly, Skipjack and Rampage have better storage for their thing when it comes when it comes to their bonus part they have compared to Overload. But still, I think it's an SS figure. I kind of wish they kind of went for the freaking spider like I mean, come on! Oh, that would have been so much cooler, but like, it, again, again, it was concept there, so they didn't have to like uh, completely recreate that one to one. Yeah, yeah, and the claw hanging over its head is kind of a bit puny. I mean, yeah. the overload, overload was what started my old deconstructing ones actually look really good face. Um, I bought him really on like a split decision because Martini told me, hey, he's very rare and a lot, uh, quite worth something and I found him at the store and then he's a really good figure. I really enjoy him, so it's a mess for me. I'm gonna put a mess. I'm gonna put him in S's. Yeah. Alright, what's next? Skipjack. Okay, so I'm just gonna put him right next to the red one. Yeah, I'll also put him to Rampage, which is to have him and name. Like, I have Rampage in B. Like, everything we said about Skipjack applies to Rampage as well. Yeah. What's next? Yeah. Leadfoot. Okay, the only reason I remember Leadfoot as opposed to the records is because A, he comes with Steelja, and B, his proportional image has him dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I remember him. <laughs> <laughs> you know... 
the meme factor, real, like you're gonna put him in the meme factor SS, really? No, I, I, I'm putting him in B. Like, I mean, I remember him because of the dad, but that's not enough to get him A tier. Yeah, like I'll, I'll put him in D. I'll give him an A. That's a bit too generous, David, but okay. <laughs> Uh, you're you're just you're all right. Box set Devastator. Oh, 69 Devastator. I, nice. I, I I like to think that they knew what they were doing with the whole you know enemy squirrel thing. Yeah, fits the humor of the movie. I I don't think it was a coincidence. I don't think it was a coincidence. With the extra paint job on like the limbs, like when you're transforming them, it like. It makes it actually look like he's he's been crawling around, and I really yeah. do appreciate. Doesn't he have like a bunch of sand like around him? That, that that's like one of the textures they added. Yeah, they had a lot of they added a lot of sand on long haul and a bit on the hands of scrapper, um, scrap metal and a little bit on skipjack. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in there as just cause like all like I feel like the constructed counts overall are already pretty solid, and Devastator just looks even even better. Um. So, yeah, the paint on, on Nyx Master just, it pops better than the original. So if you guys want to donate to my Patreon so I can afford this figure on Hasbro Pulse, <laughs> link to it will be in the description down below. That could be my- Actually, no on Hasbro Pulse, it's gone on Hasbro Pulse. Okay, well in that case, I'll try and find him anywhere else I can. Alright, anyways, I got an extra picture for you, if you guys want to check it out. Oh. Bam! Yeah, you shared this image before. Uh, yeah, but not, not in the video. I do like the sideways supremacy there. That's that's good. Yes, yes. That's I was gonna cool. add Jetfire, but like it was late at night, and even with Jetfire, Optus was gonna lose anyway. Yeah. Just sideways is gone. Anyways, what's the next figure? Uh, next figure is. Thing. What you said? I said that was that is an S. I mean, you guys keep skipping me. <laughs> well, David, you keep just, you need to be faster. He's saying sign like why not? Yeah, you, just <laughs> you need to keep I up, man. Guys, guys, I can't, I can't say something if you're talking. No time. <laughs> so you put it in S then? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I put it in SS. I put it in SS as well. We have the B one twenty seven. Um, I never had this figure. He looks okay. Yeah, I I, I, did, I never had this figure. I'm gonna put it in C. How about you, David? I'll give him a S. What? I really like it. Oh, well, well, okay, I'll, I'll just put him in B. You know what? Yeah, I'll put him in B. Okay, what's next after that? Dino slash Mirage. I, I got this figure. Um, I really like it. Again, I think we can all just say that we're all a bit disappointed about the vehicle mode, that it's lack of accuracy, but... It's understandable, same, and it, it looks close enough, so I don't mind. At the same time, it's accurate, and it's probably even the first gamer figure because uh, <laughs> gamer figure <laughs> because it does resemble the Dark and the Moon video game uh, design. I'm sorry, I can't take the gamer edition seriously. <laughs> Me oh, that's so funny. It's like it's yeah. it's like this came out of nowhere. The, the only thing that's missing from like the gamer edition is that they add like a monster energy on the box art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this figure a lot. My biggest problem is that like when you look at him from the side, it literally looks like he's almost like a wooden plane. But besides yeah. that, I think he looks cool. Really cool figure. If you can get him, get him. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put it in A. I'm gonna put it in A. There we go, we all agree. <laughs> What's next? What would the movie star screen? Um mm, not a big fan. It's a new mold. Maybe it's because I'm not that big of a fan of the Bobby movie Starscream. Yeah, like people thought Blitz in the Starscream. Like, his face is weird, and I feel like the colors just look a bit too weird on him. The yellow I looks agree. too vibrant. Like, I, yeah, I think that's my biggest problem. He's too vibrant. Like, he needs some darker colors to, like, break up the coloration yeah. a bit more. Like, I would just make his exactly. his cockpit mm -hmm. orange or even a darker or yellow, something like that. Yeah. I fully yeah. agree with that. I think that's the problem. It's just way too bright colors, and I don't like the face. I don't know. The face just doesn't really work for me. Th that visor just does not work. I mean, split the eyes, like, that will make it probably better, but still... So that's why I give it a C. I'm gonna put it in B. I'm gonna put it in C. That's like no D. Grindor! Oh, well, uh, ECSS, I love with Blackout. I mean, it's literally just Blackout, but with Ravage and, like, better fingers. And arguably yes. better pain. 
arguably. Yes. Actually, yeah, really. It's the same as Blackout 2S for me. My biggest problem was that when this figure got announced, I was low-key hoping he would be, like, bigger than Blackout, because, like, in reality, Grinder is supposed to be much taller than Blackout. Yeah, uh, sadly, that wasn't the case, but hey, uh, it's SS for me. Now we go on to Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee with Sam with Wiki. I have this figure. I got him again on a wimp, and it's surprisingly good. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I got him at Walmart. You got it, David? Well, well, no, I haven't got it. Um, I could have, but I mean, because you said Bumblebee with Sam with Wiki, I would disagree. It's Bumblebee with faceless, no-name character, <laughs> um, which we all know is Sam, but just to figure, come on, guys. <laughs> but, oh. but still. Um, yeah, it's an A for me. I really like it. I think it's fine. I actually use him for my Simmons in truth. What's next? Um, wait, we didn't, we, we, none of us even scored it. Oh, no, I, said I said A. I said I'm gonna put it in B. All right then. What's next? Joel. Okay, so I. The most famous Revenge of the Fallen character. <laughs> no, this is Dark of the Moon, Joel, because apparently his backdrop's Dark of the Moon. Yeah, like Wait, that's uh, like like. You never noticed that, David? I never looked at the figure that much. Too much. Wait, you, no. but you have this figure? No, no, no. But I mean, like in stores. Oh. No, no, his background is literally the Battle of Chicago. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but like, I just love the fact that we finally have a canon look for Jolt in the movie. Because this, this has been a debate for ages. People wondering how Jolt actually looks like in movie, because like, there's so few scenes of him. No one ever got a good look, and now that we finally have him, like, all that argument, it's over now. And he's actually pretty good. He's a bit stiff, but I, I like him quite a bit. His transformation is actually pretty cool. I'm gonna give it an A. Yeah, I agree. I actually had him a lot lower the first time we did this, but the thing is, um, again, I watched Revenge of the Fallen recently, uh, just before we started, and I, I actually noticed him more now. And I was, uh, when I looked at him, I'm like, oh, he looks really accurate figure wise. Yeah, because your brain is filling in the gaps now, not, not that you, ha you know exactly how he's supposed to look like. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm exactly. gonna go with A. Yeah, same. What's the next one? Okay, number 76 is Thrust. Oh, you mean not Acid Storm? Pretty much. I, I like this a lot. My only problem is the way he holds his gun. It looks so awkward. Yeah, like, like it, it, yeah, that kind of threw me off. I actually got this guy on a whim at Walmart again, actually, and I, and he's not really a bad figure. Also, his transformation was a bit different than Blitzwing, and better than Starscream. But at the same time, it's like... I feel like the colors here work a whole lot better than Starscream. Starscream was all oh, over definitely. the place, at least this is more consistent. Yeah. yeah. It looks a lot better. The face again, I mean it's Blitzwing's face, but still. Ah, Blitzwing's, um... That's not the name I'm looking for. Mask. Yeah. Gas mask. Uh, yeah, the, the Blitzwing's face, I just... Yeah, it, it works a lot better, and I, I like the figure, so yeah. It's an S for me. I'm gonna put it in B. I'm gonna put it in A. What's next? We have Ness Bumblebee. So, uh, um, I mean, it's just like the G Bumblebee, but without the charm of like the yellow. And to me, the problem with all the Ness figures is that they look kind of boring. It's just like a simple, you know, recolor of everything just with the dullest thing ever, and except the yeah. eyes and the Ness like logos in there. Like, it's a good mold, but with the paint on it, it kind of just dumps it down entirely. Yeah, like, yeah. all of those figures are good, but the reason why I don't get them is because I don't just want, like, to have a good mold. I want to have a good mold, and I want to have some good coloring to go along with it. Yeah. I'm going to put it in C. going to put mine in A. Yeah. Hold that. Um, yeah, for me, just the color kind of destroys the figure a bit, so that's a D for me. Actually, you know what? I'll put it in B. I'll put it in B. I'm going to be away from David. <laughs> hey, what does that mean? <laughs> Sounds like you're afraid of getting the David virus. You're backstabbing me, that is... Dave, David will remember that. Betray you! One man alone. <laughs> the man the country loves! loves. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting the memes! David, can you say you're behind the enemy tier list? Right below the enemy tier list? <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind! The enemy is tearless. <laughs> <laughs> Number 78, uh, Revenge of the Fall 1 Sideswipe. Uh, it, this is literally the same as the Dark of the Moon one, just with better coloring and the convertible thing. And, I mean, the, the, the roof. 
thing, an extra yeah. backpack. Honestly, it's an extra backpack that kind of kills it and brings it one tier down from the other. I'm gonna go with B. Does it come with guns or just the blades? It comes with the guns and the blades. Oh. It's, it's literally the exact same, it's just a tad different, better painting, and of course the roof. Oh. The roof is kind of what kills it in, in the, in like, when I look at it, it's like... Wait, I got a question. Can you transform him and take off the roof? I don't usually try taking off stuff, and honestly, I don't think there's a way to without actually snapping it off and breaking it. Well, I'm gonna put in A just cause of the coloring. I mean, like, the, the only thing that bothers me about my side swipe from Dark of the Moon is that his face looks not that well colored. Yeah. How about you, David? I like side swipe too. I'll give him an A. Hmm. Color is very good. Alright. What's next on the agenda? High Octane Bumblebee from Age of Extinction. I, I don't have that one. I have the original one, like, not from Age of Extinction. I actually really like it just for the vehicle mode. It's literally the exact same. It's just a re-release. Yeah, didn't they change the colors though? Because, like, I remember my... Because I have my Age of Extinction Bumblebee, like, the Camaro one. I'm looking at it right now from the corner of my eye, and it's actually quite orange in comparison to this one. Yeah, I mean, I guess they toned it down a little bit, but it's pretty much the exact same. I like it for the vehicle mode. Vehicle mode is great. I hate that they actually packed it with a two-pack with Stinger, and they didn't do anything else with it. Like, they didn't say, hey, let's do a full release of this. Uh, I got the, yeah, I, I, I keep forgetting this thing exists. Um, I'm gonna put it in A tier. I mean, it's a really good mold, really good figure. It's just, I hate the fact that it's exclusive. I mean, the vehicle mode also brings it up for me, but... I don't know, the, the figure itself, it just... Like, this uh, is one of those I, figures you just keep in vehicle more than nothing else. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a particular fan of the figure uh, on the whole, so it's, it's a C for me. I put it in B. I put it in B as well. What's next? Brawn. Oh, that guy you had the no one likes. Um, his toy is surprisingly good, I actually like him quite a bit. And I like those memes, so people like rework him into the Doom Slayer. And then there's also people that decide to transform into a toilet. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put him in A tier. Actually, I like him quite a bit. I think he's cool. I'm gonna put him in A as well. I'll give him an A too. Looks very good next year. What's next? Go Jack. Okay, this is just gonna be S tier for me. I like this Wujack so much, and because of Rise of the Beast and what they might be doing with pa with Pablo, it makes me appreciate this Wujack so much more. I was taking this Wujack for granted when we first got him, and now I, whenever I look at him, I just realize how far we have fallen from grace. Yeah, I'm gonna go with S as well. Yeah, his vehicle oh, is so good. It gives me so many Warford Savage from game vibes. I'm gonna give it an E. No, I'm just kidding. What? Oh, David, I swear, I was about to explode on you. <laughs> Ratchet. I got this one. I like it quite a bit, and I love how he holds his gun in the back. Like, he's some kind of, you know, um, guerrilla fighter. I love that. Yeah. But, like, it's... He's got a little bit of loose joints. Yeah, I agree. That's the reason why I would bring him down to an A, because the figure itself is really good, but it, it has quite a few. The feet itself is very loose. Online, so yeah. I think my copy is fine. I never noticed any like problems with the joints being loose. I'm gonna go with A. Uh, I'll put mine in A. Yeah. What? Sound one. Okay, SS tier. This is so good. Um, only thing holding it back is the vehicle. <laughs> oh, the quote unquote vehicle mode. I mean, you could make it as like uh, Green Goblin's glider or like a Cybertron <laughs> cassette deck or just like you can actually fan mode a little bit into a tank as well. I don't know. To me, yeah. it just, it looks too, too, too much like nothing. Like they were just trying to like, like, like they well, were building again, him and they gave a halfway there and they just like left it. Well, then again, they are focused on robot mode accuracy and they yeah. tried their best and Cybertron modes is whatever the hell you want. But this is just, isn't it chief? But I, I agree, like if you get Ravage, especially with this figure, like this becomes like even better. Yes. Yeah, and speaking of Ravage and Shockwave, Let, let's just, it. I'm just gonna put Ravage in SST right next to Soundwave. Just cause, yeah, like, me too. Just having Ravage enhances Soundwave so much. Yeah, I really do like Ravage. Like, he's such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, David, what about you with Ravage? Where are you gonna put him? Well, I would say Soundwave, Ravage, and Shockwave. Yes. Yeah, okay. S? Yeah, that works. Not S? -S. No, it's S. Okay. As for uh, Core Class Shockwave, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with... 
I'm gonna probably see. I don't like the, that they're making core class of characters that are not core class. I'm gonna go with B, honestly. It's not really a bad figure. I do like how they take the vehicle mode based off of Transformers Prime. Oh, uh, that's really cool. I honestly, I love that. But I just don't like that. Like, this is like giving us a Studio Series core class Optimus Prime, you know? It just feels weird, especially not totally. Well, they are gonna be getting us a core class Optimus Prime also. Well, I didn't need to know that, Drake, and thanks for telling me. But, yeah, I don't like that still. Like, especially since Steel Series has focused so much in, like, toy scaling. Just, like, us getting that, like, it's, it's yeah, too, I, I too much. Mean, yeah. I mean, at least we're getting a better one next year. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully they don't mess it up. Yeah, and hopefully uh, that comes true with the fact that uh, B-Movie um, Megatron, and it's not somehow, oh, it's 1986, well, how are you supposed to do a gun? Hmm? Yeah, I hope I, I'm really interested to see how Bumblebee uh, Megatron will look like. Yeah. Yeah, same. Now we have the premium finish. Oh, okay, let's get this over. Uh, Bumblebee! Uh, I'm probably gonna put it in D tier. Again, it's the same flawed figure, but you, you're paying a bigger price for it. That's the feeling. The paint here. actually sucks. I'm putting it one tier lower with that. Mm. Honestly, it's a bit too. It looks like mustard. It... I mean, I put it in. Oh, wait, hold up. Yeah, you did have it going. Why are you skipping David? You always do this! <laughs> Dude, my man, this man, yeah. But no, but uh, I personally really like the paint job, honestly. I disagree with the mustard uh, comment. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'm gonna say it's an ass. Wait, really? David. <laughs> I mean, it's literally the same Volkswagen Bumblebee. Like, it has. You're, you're just paying a larger price for it, and it still has all its flaws. It even doesn't include a backdrop, so. What? Yeah, what? actually, yeah, you're getting even less for it if you think about it. Let me get a better painted version. So. Fine. Leave me fanboy Bumblebee. Give me the finish Optimus. Wait, what? Give me the finish Bumblebee movie Optimus. SS. Again, just made a painted Optimus. I was I was planning on getting that one a while back, but like I didn't want to pay like that large of a price for it. I was honestly thinking about getting it as well, but if they're going to be coming out with this Rise of the Beasts in Buzz War again, like... I'd rather wait for that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, same here. Uh, I'm gonna finish Megatron. Uh, I'm just gonna put it right next to OG, to all seven Megatron. I'm gonna do the same as that's A. Yeah, I would actually move him, like, I had Megatron at B first, and so now I'll move him up to A with that. Well, at least he looks more accurate to the movie with that color scheme. Yes, yeah, so that's true. That's definitely true. Uh, then we have, uh, Prima Finish Ratchet. Uh, I, I guess I'll just put him with the other Ratchets, like... He kind of looks like almost the same as the 15th anniversary, in truth. Yeah, he does. I'll just put him in B. Just because at least he's better painted than the original one. I'm gonna put him in B as well. I'll give him an A. I'll bump him up. Of course, David's like the most generous person ever. He gives everyone high scores. <laughs> I, I, I swear, David's the type of person, like, if you were to go to school and you're, like, failing by, like, say, 20 points, he'll just bump you up to 65 just to pass. <laughs> It's funny, but it's he is a teacher. If you guys don't get what he's saying, it's funny though because it's kind of true. Because like when when a student like that does does bad, I'm like, yeah, I'll give him another chance. You know. You see, I didn't even know David was a teacher, and I got it right. <laughs> Play the. What's next? What's next, people? What the heck? What? Is it Get yours? Oh shit, that's mine. Where the hell did that come from? What? Mute! Mute! What? What's happening? Well, how the hell did that ad just play out of nowhere? Uh, what were you... Like, that, that ad on my computer, like, for some reason, it just played out of nowhere. I didn't do anything. Well, that's what happens when you don't use ad blocker on the site you don't trust. Anyways, uh, we got the buzz. But in all seriousness, guys, if you're using ad blocker right now, please turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what's next? What's next? Ad um, <laughs> I was about to say ad blocker bumblebee. <laughs> 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 um for B127. Oh he goes along with the other B127. It's literally the same thing without without the mask. I'm gonna put it you know what? Yeah, even the head still doesn't really save it as much. Like, I thought it would win it over, like, put it A, but no, it's still B tier for me. Yeah, this is the unblocked version of the ad blocker Bumblebee. <laughs> the unblock. Well, actually, it didn't block me, because I, I probably might get this figure. Um, 
because um, at first it wasn't like I thought it was just like releasing not here in Austria because it already was at Hasbro Pulse in other countries, and now all of a sudden I go on Amazon Germany and it's there, and I'm like, oh, get out. <laughs> so, so yeah. it looks very good. I'll you... give it an S. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bit too high for ranking in my opinion, but all right. What's well, next? Your opinion is invalid. <laughs> Iron Hide. Okay, I like this figure a lot. Uh, almost as much as Ratchet. My only problem is the red pants. The red shorts he has. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in B. It's it's the it's the same. Uh, it's almost the same exact QC issues, except that with that with the painting, it's a little bit off for me. And the gun just the gun doesn't feel Ratchet to me. I mean, I mean Iron Hide to me. I don't know, like, the gun works, but for me it's fine, it's fine. It's just like, the, the red pants is, is like my biggest issue with it. Yeah, I'm gonna put in B. How about you, David? You gonna be? Alright. Now we have RC. SS, no, no doubt. This is the best RC yeah. I've seen in my whole life when it comes to the studio series and Transformers in general. I love this RC so much. At least when it comes to the toys, when it comes to, like, representation, movies and stuff like that, I think it will be maybe Transformers Prime or Rust of the Beast RC. I like those two a lot. I'll give her an A, she's a really good figure, I agree. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna give it an A. I mean, I wouldn't exactly call it SS, but it's 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 definitely not a bad figure. It really isn't. It poses well, it transforms well. You can even do, like, you can even fan mode it to, like, the RC stuff, if you know what I mean. Do you guys have no taste? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Okay, what's next? We have, well, there's no 86, let's go to 87, which is Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. Uh, oh. Same as that mold as the uh, Revenge of the Fallen and the 2007 Camaro, except with a molded chest to fit the film. And better paint, because it doesn't look golden. I'll probably put it in A tier. I'm gonna put in A. David. I'll give it an S. Of course, I won't be fan fanboy putting in S immediately. <laughs> hey, it looks really good, man. Uh, we have one more premium finish. Is, is that one next, or does that come later? You know what? Yeah, we'll do that one right now. Uh, that one is the uh, the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus, but includes both the guns and the blades. Oh, okay. That's the only so and it's better painted. Only saving grace, I'm gonna put, it, I'm gonna bump it up to a C. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump it up over my over one, which is a B. Yeah, I'm also gonna bump it up to a B. But why did they not premium finish the the better optimus? The Yo Seven one. They should have just done that one. Why? There's still rumors. I'm not sure they're even gonna be officially doing this, but there's still rumors that there's gonna be a Jetfire premium finish soon. I don't know how they're gonna do that. Ooh, I will get that actually. That yeah. Be. Although that probably be like double the original price point, which is like fifty. But now bump it up to a hundred. Oh, jeez, like, maybe not then. <laughs> Have you seen the economy lately? I don't know. I don't know how how they price these price premium finish. I really don't. I'm just like guess working here. To me, I feel like they just price premium finish like depending on whatever they feel like. And, like some of these don't feel like they should be that expensive. Yeah, that's true. Thunder cracker. Um, yeah, Thunder cracker is great. That's cool. I'll give him a name. I'll give him a yeah. too. Yeah, I'm gonna put him over my thru over thrust, which is A. Yeah, it's literally the same thing, but blue and with a shade of red and white over here and there. And also a better face than Starscream. I agree. Yeah, yeah. that's too real. What's next? Albatron. Okay, I don't have this figure. I found him um the other day, but I didn't pick him up. So you just tell me what you guys think of him. Oh, uh, he, he looks really good. He poses well. He's got a puny cannon though, and also the arm blades are just molded into it. Like, that's kind of the only things that kind of hold it back. I mean, to be fair, also another thing that kind of hold it back is the back of the vehicle mode, but they tried their best on the vehicle mode, and here's the thing. This is something that has barely gotten good toys. Yeah. Uh, I thought the Edge of Extinction one from way back when was alright, in all honesty. Yeah, but like, this one's a lot better, and it poses better, and it's not a shell form. Yeah, yeah, I guess. He looks a bit too skinny to me. Like, he lo almost looks like skeletal. I don't know. I, I get that vibe from him. Honestly, you know, like, it's, 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 yeah, it's the proportion that's throwing me off a little bit. Like, I'm looking at him, like, I can see this is Galvatron, but I definitely can't see him as Megatron. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I, I personally really like the figure. The proportions don't matter to me that much. I think the paint job is really good with that figure. I would give him an A. I'm gonna put him in. S. Not SS, just regular S. I'll just put him in A. Alright, now is the Fallen. 
<laughs> okay, well, let's go see Nessus. Like, just like the it's amount of things you can do with this thing is insane. You can rip off his head, you can like break the spear in half, and we have his canonical transformation for once. Yeah, and we can even fan mode him into the Star Harvester. Yeah, well, it's just weird, but uh, I mean, it's welcome, I guess. The only thing I really hate about the about about the thing is the backdrop should have been the Star Harvester, not the not the final battle part, like when they're off the Star Harvester after it's blown up. That's kind of true. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I have him, and he is amazing. <laughs> I have the Fallen. I'm the only one without a Fallen. Oh no! People spent give give fire money so he can get the fallen. Yeah, Patreon will be in the description down below. <laughs> you Man. need to donate to the Patreon now. What's next? What's next? We have crosshairs. I I saw this the other day on my local store. Like he's still on there. I could get him at any time, but I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the Age of Extinction all of us, and I'm still not sure about this one. Yeah, me too. It's it's mainly the bad path that just kind of throws me off a little bit. I mean, they're trying to do an impossible thing, which is the the, the trench coat. And if you tear the backpack off, it just doesn't look like crosshairs at all at that point. I know? actually have the classic Age of Extinction crosshairs, and I, they, they what they did for that one was that they made the trench coat be rubber, so it feels more like le like leathery, like it's supposed to be in the movie. The thing is, I disagree though, because you can put the backpack off, and I mean, I have to figure, and I think then it looks a lot better actually. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, I don't really like tearing my figures apart, unless they're combiners, of course, but still. No, I get it, I get it, but... Just the figure itself, I think, looks really great. The, the, just that they got it like to look at the way it did it with that design, which isn't really good for like transforming, making it figure. Yeah, that that is true. So for me, it's an A. You know, he's got the backdrop of not actually the um the part where he flies out of the ship in Age of Ascension, but the bowling alley. In the last night. Yeah, that's so weird. It's supposed to be Age of Extinction, right? Not not the last night. I mean, it's technically they're both exactly the same. Like Yeah, yeah but what does the packaging say? Last night actually. Yeah. yeah. Well, I really was hoping it was Age of Extinction, but no, they went with the last night. I'm gonna put it in A. Like it's it's not a bad figure, it's just it could be done a lot better with the trench coat and whatnot. Yeah. Hot rod. Uh, oh, who would? Yeah, who I don't would? like the French accent. Uh, this is also my local store, and I still haven't picked it up because I don't know if I want him. Really, he looks okay though. He he has to stop the time gun, and he has a very good-looking vehicle mode and robot mode. Yeah, but yeah. I never been okay. fan of Frog Face Hot Rod in the movies. And hot Rod, just in general, was a big surprise for me. I never thought he would look as good as he did. Like kind of, I thought it would be impossible to make it that look that good, and the robot one looks really good. Like, I don't know how they were able to pull that off. So, I mean, I, I've grown to. Ex I mean, I don't like Hot Rod in the movies. So don't worry, the stop the timeline still makes my blood uh, like boil. <laughs> not not boil, freeze. But but still, the figure itself is an A for me. The way they like um, translated it to toys, honestly, really impressive. So at least for that, I have to yeah. give it an A. I'm gonna give it an S. Alright, what's next? What's next is Hatchet. Hatchet? Oh, he's not out yet. Uh, he looks cool, but like since we don't have anything to go about him, I'm gonna put him in A. Because I feel like he's gonna suffer uh, like from stiffness, like a lot of like, the other uh, dreads do. Because like, all of them share the same vehicle mode, and I feel like that kind of limits them in a, in a way. So Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in A, but... Hasbro's been pulling out all this stuff, they had this guy revealed for who knows how long now, and they still haven't released him yet. It makes me feel like they're actually going to cancel his release. I feel like they could, they're probably like trying to save him off for a potential Gamer Edition release. Like imagine <laughs> Dark of the Moon like uh, Hatchet, because there's a bunch of Hatchets in that game. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 true, but at the same time, why would you hold back a toy that, you, that you've been revealed for, like, almost... It's been almost like five months since you revealed the thing. Uh, I'm gonna put him in A. Well, I'll all right. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, because I have finally another controversial opinion. Oh it needs god, to be said. it's been a while. I don't know what everyone's raving about with this figure. I think it doesn't look good, so I'll give it a D. <laughs> it's literally a Cybertronian dog, David, that transforms. 
Yes. You, you like dinosaurs, don't you? You like that abomination known as High Tower, don't you? You should give this a higher score. No, because High Tower deserves the high notes, not this one, because this is dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Also, actually, the the Cyberverse toy was dreadful. Oh yeah, he transformed into a jet too. I was like, why? And again, Crowbar turned into a police car instead of a suburban. So, yeah. <laughs> What's next? Big Bumblebee, <laughs> aka Dark and the Moon Laser Beak. Okay, I'm gonna put it on that says just for the beam factor that we have T Tie Bumblebee and Studio Series. Okay, when I made my video talking about all the potential figures we could get for Studio Series, T Tie Bumblebee was not the one I was expecting us to get. <laughs> yeah, I just, it just, it, it's a very simple figure, but just the. Just that they did it. Just like, and I yeah. love the backdrop. It's like the little like tea party thing. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Honestly, I love it just for that. Yep. Now we got ratchets. N nest ratchet. Ironically, I think this looks better than all the ratchets. I think black just works with this mold. So I'm gonna give it an. I'm, I'm gonna give it a B. Like, I feel like the mold's still not strong enough to carry, but like the colors do look pretty good. I'm gonna put it in the same ranking as my other ratchets that are better than the first ever ratchet, so I'm gonna put it in B. It's interesting because for me, actually, this is one of the best versions that, uh, also with Bumblebee, that just doesn't work for me color wise. So I'll give it a D. <gasps> Nest Bone Crusher. Uh, I think he's okay. You know, he does have that little tidbit on the side where they say he's an Autobot, but like there's some hidden details around him that basically say he's a Decepticon. Like all hail Megatron, and there's a little Decepticon symbol hidden behind one of the wheels of vehicle mode. And also, just like a fan theory going around that this basically means that after Revenge of the Fallen, uh, Bone Crusher got away and like infiltrated Ness. I actually kind of do like that theory. Like, it, it's probably not intending it to like for us to like take it too seriously but like, it's something that makes fans think and honestly i appreciate that yeah i'm gonna put it in one tier lower than the original bone crusher i'm gonna put an a i'm gonna put it in a along with bone crusher like i feel like they're both just around the same you know what yeah you know what? i'll put an s then my own bone crusher this is a nest repaint that i think really works really well um and i would give it the same rating as bone crusher so it's an s for me all right now it's time for star to be rise of the beasts with um, 97 Air Razor. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I kind of like Mainline more. I don't hate this version. It's literally the Kingdom Mold, and I have the Kingdom Mold. It's a fine mold, but I just like the Mainline one a bit more. But this is still pretty good. It looks pretty good, and I like how tall she is. I, you said you want the Mainline? You have to wait till August. I know. Here, here's the thing, I, I would say do not underestimate the figure because I have her right here next to me. And I think the detail that they put into her also surprised me because I didn't think she would be that detailed. The coloring is very nice. Yeah. A very proposable figure and yeah, uh, I mean I'm not 100% sure if I like the face design but but the rest I'm really... I really like, so for me, Air Razor is an A. You know what, I'm gonna put an A for that. Like, I'm still debating on whether or not to get the Beast figures, besides Optimus Primal, but still. I'm honestly putting her in S just because she pairs up so well with Sideways. I honestly, when that makes me want to ship them. Look at these images. Look. Look, tell me not this is the most adorable thing ever. Oh, you know what? S for that. S for that. <laughs> I look really nice. Like, that is so cute. <laughs> the petting one is really cute. If you guys want to make some fan art of this, we have an art section on our Discord server. <laughs> okay. Sideways petting arrays is something now I want to see in the movie. Now we have Cheetor. Uh, okay, so when I first got when I first saw this, I was very taken aback by it. I don't like the Black Panther face, but I love the gimmick where he can get like spears attached to make a larger spear to replicate Ultimus Primal. I think that's cool. I actually really do like the Beast Mode. And uh, the more I look at him, the more I'm starting to like him. I think he's he's pretty good. Um, I'll, I'll give him I'll give him um I'll give him a I don't know. I'm between an A or an S. I think he should be in either of those two. I'm gonna put him an S. Like I'm heavily debating on getting him, and probably when I get enough money, I'm like, you know what? I don't get him. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I have him here right next to me. I got him a few days ago, actually. And he, first of all, my god, he's so poseable, it's awesome. You can get so many dynamic poses with this guy. I love how they like uh, integrated like his paws to be like these Wolverine-like claws. That's an awesome, cool detail. And just the figure itself, just the way everything fits together in robot mode, from like the cheetah mode, is incredible. Like, it's it perfect. There is no backpack. Nothing. It's just, it's, it's really awesome. Detail-wise, I also really like the figure. The only thing maybe that might be something, if he feels a bit hollow, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the plastic, I don't know what it is. The plastic kind of feels a teeny bit cheaper, but maybe that's just because it's a very... It's not the edgy figure, it's a very slim and everything's around. I think maybe that's why it feels... I don't know how to express it. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, the figure itself is really great, and I really like it, and it's an S for me. Alright, so I, I put me an S as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put it in S. Alright, what's next is uh, we'll do the core classes. Um, we got Rise of the Beast RC. I don't like uh, this figure. I'm so sorry, everyone. Like, I wanna like it, but I, I think the way she's painted is very awkward. I don't like how she's very inaccurate to the movie. And yes, I know she's based off the concept art. But I, I feel like it's very telling when um, the mainline RC looks better than the Studio Series 1. And yeah, I, I know, look, I want to like this. I really do, but it just looks so, it looks so weird to me. I'm going to pull a picture so I, I can show you, like, this is kind of the best we could do for, like, seeing how it is in person, just for you, Fire. It's not that bad. I kind of wish it was better. And my first time transforming it a few times is like... The tabbing could go a little bit better, especially when you're transforming it, so I'm gonna put it, honestly, in B. It's, it's not a bad figure, but I really do think that it's just a little bit... It could be better. It could be a lot better. I mean, I personally, at first, like, be, I changed my mind a bit to the positive side with her. At first, it was more leaning towards D, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with D. To me, my problem is that we kind of went the Pablo route, but except for, like, Pablo, you know, we were just going to Pablo in, in the action movie. I feel like they downgraded in terms of toys, because, I mean, Bumblebee RC and Russell the Beast RC, in my opinion, look, both look really good. The toys were the problem. Is like, if you look at Bumblebee movie RC, and then you look at Russell the Beast RC in Studio Series, I think it's night and day, which one's better. Yeah. yeah. And then we have, um, Freezer. Oh, the little guy. I, I'm gonna put him in A, and he gets carried not because of his looks, but because of Scourge. Like, combining him with Scourge just, like, uh, makes this guy even more valuable. You know, I usually thought this guy was A, but then I fiddled around with him a lot, and I also watched Prime vs. Prime's video, and I thought, this guy isn't really deserving of an SS, mainly because of his, like, ball joint limbs, and not to mention, like, he kind of has a tad bit of lack of articulation when it comes to the legs. I'm gonna wait for Scourge when this guy comes out so I can really make him look good, but for now, like, he's either gonna stay in, uh, robot mode, or he's gonna stay in blaster mode for battle trap. Same. I'm probably gonna do that once I get Scourge. Yeah. So, so, it's for me, he's a B. You keep interrupting David! <laughs> He's trying to speak, he's like raising his hand like a kid, and you're like the, the, the class teacher ignoring him. And always when I talk, he's like, BAM! <laughs> yeah. Shut up, David. <laughs> no, I personally really like Freezer, actually. I think I think the paint job is good. I think I like him that much, because he has a very Babyverse design, and I really like that. Um, yeah, I just like the little guy, so I give him a... a... Night SS99 <laughs> Battle Trap. SS oh, tier. Yeah. SS! No one's gonna disagree with this. Like, look, look, look. People say that people don't like the rest of the beast designs because they're new and, you know, people just not used to them. But Battle Trap, look, no one has complained about Battle Trap. What does that say? People don't care that these designs are new and, you know, we're not familiar with them. It's that some designs just look better than others. And Battle Trap is like one design that no one, absolutely no one complains about. There's a reason why Battle Trap Suite has been trending. Hashtag Battle Trap, trap Suite. I just had Battle Trap Sweep. Indeed. SS, so we're all in agreement then. Yep. Well, actually, I, I have an S. But oh my god. <laughs> I have him, he's a really great figure. It's just the other ones are a bit more for me. Just doesn't mean he's not a good figure, he's a great figure. Okay, fine, that's valid at least. <laughs> Who's next? 100 Bumblebee. I actually really like this figure. I want to get it. My, oh, my biggest nitpick. <laughs> is the arm. The, it, it's completely yellow, like the blade I mean. 
it's like they could at least color the arms for like all of the other you know movie movie studio series you know figures like come with the blades but for him it's like he's like the one exception they should have done it for him especially he will he will be perfect but I did hear that you can actually get the other blades from the other movies and insert it on him so if you can do that that's completely fine yeah I'm still putting it SS I really think he's a really good figure and he's really good transforming he's really good posing Best. there's nothing wrong with him like even the face to me in person doesn't look that bad compared to the promotional yeah, I feel like the promotional doesn't make him look very good, because like when you look at in-hand images of him, his face looks pretty okay, actually. Oh, guess what? Speaking of Scourge, here's 101. This is one of those cases where I actually like the toy more than the movie appearance. At least for now, we haven't seen enough of the movie Scourge to com like really, yeah. really compare. Yeah. But, I mean, I just love the fact that he can hold Bumblebee. I like like the whole thing yes. with his blades and the arms and like the articulation. He looks very good. Like I'm gonna put him in S tier for now. I'm gonna put him in SS. I think when it comes to Scourge is kind of the the legs. Kind of like that's the only thing that just like but I'm fine with like 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 lockdown was kinda of skiddy and look how powerful he was. And Scourge is taller than Optimus. My thing with this figure is that um I feel like he suffers from like the whole Slenderman factor that the movie like Scourge is trying to go for. It kind of messes with the figure a bit. And while the vehicle mode is cool, I do love the grill. I I really love the grill. Yeah, I don't like how it has those open holes inside of the the vehicle mode. It makes him look very awkward. Then um, again, those are for the fire thing, like the uh his fire build. Yeah, I know they're trying to recreate that, but how much of that can you get with a figure like this? Like I feel like the glowing panels are not gonna do much. At least, and I haven't seen them like in like you know stand out that much either from like the reviews. I mean, I honestly like the the, the, the glowing orange uh, idea that they had with him. I really liked that they did that. Um, the figure itself, there are some things that just I mean, it's. A, I think the face and neck area doesn't fully work for me. Um, the, the, the truck mode is made is really great. I love it. Um, so yeah, for me, he's a really good leader. Um, a good, really good one. Not perfect, but really good, so I'll give him an 8. I mean, I'll totally get him when he comes out, but I just like yeah, some things about him I don't like. Alright, now it's time for the 15th anniversary. Alright, alright, I have these ones. So, Jazz, straight up A tier. Iron Heights, straight up S tier. Ratchet, uh, he can go on B tier. I'm not, uh, I wish he had the gun. Uh, Optimus, again, goes in S tier. And Bone will be because my copy has one of its windows broken, he's gonna go in CT. Right, and I well, don't like how, how his gun is like this, this like, grey plastic. I, I wish it was black, fully black, that will look a whole lot better. Alright, so for me, Jazz is gonna go in the exact same as his original, like they're just, it's just simply a little bit better paint. Actually, no, actually S. Put Jazz in S. I'm gonna put Ironhide in SS. Uh, Optimus in SS, Bumblebee, because of the lack of freaking paint, I'm gonna have to put him in D. And then finally, Ratchet, I'm gonna put him alongside the 07 Ratchet from way back in Wave 1, C. Okay, here I go. Um, Jazz A, Ironhide A, Ratchet A. Um, Optimus is an S tier for me, and Bumblebee is an S for me. Well, I mean, uh, it's also a little bit biased because your copy isn't broken. I'm gonna try and see if I can find a, I don't know, like someone sending some spare, like, whole seven Bumblebee parts. <laughs> Alright, and now we just have one more. Sideways tier, obviously. The final, the best for Of us. course, sideways tier. Is, the legend. <laughs> yeah, sideways goes in sideways tier. Yes. Above everyone else, it's literally the best figure to ever be created for Studio Series and nothing will be able to top it. Uh, uh, I like how I have so many Bumblebees on bottom tier. <laughs> like 50% of the Bumblebees are on bottom tier. Honestly, I'm kind of the same. Oh, Davis. His top corner of like the tiers is going to be covered by yellow. Exactly. <laughs> because I have the only right opinion. I'm not a bee hater. Oh. No, Fire only has the right opinion. I challenge this. <laughs> uh, David is surprisingly more organized than mine. 
He has so little figures in like the bottom rank, because most of it is up there, and yes, there's a lot of yellow on the top ranks. Yeah, I mostly like all of the Studio Series, which says something good about them. I mean, they're better in their later years, but like the early years, just like, ugh. Like, I just, as we just kept on going, I like, figured we just started going like the upper echelon. Yeah, that's true. Tracking, take your time, man, take your time. Yeah. I, I'm being sarcastic, don't take your time. Alright, I'm sending it right now. Yours is probably the most balanced one, like I, like everything's so evenly distributed while, while mine and David's are That's more uh, skewed, I guess. Alright then, so these are our tier lists, uh, so you guys might have guessed, all of these are wrong, except for mine. But at least we can all agree that Sideways is the best figure ever. I mean, we have him Sideways tier, except for Draken, because he has him in SSS tier like a scrub. Well. Sideways is the best transformer to ever have transformed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know you were putting in sideways tier, not S. Oh well, it's too late for takebacks. That's immoralized now. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, hey, at least it's still all, all above the others. So there's a lot of figures out there, a lot of which I don't have. So if you guys want to, I don't know, donate to my Patreon like a bunch of money so I can get myself most of these figures, that will be much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to David's Patreon and <laughs> check the Rise of Unicron YouTube channel. <laughs> and also subscribe to Draken, I guess, because he asked. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for, for this collab t today. Even yes, though this thank you for me being here. <laughs> yeah, but my sleep schedule won't appreciate it, but I'm sure the fans do. Anyway, anyway Scott, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that annoying YouTuber stuff that the algorithm likes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Say goodbye, people. Bye. Stay safe, guys. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, perfect.